Here we have a really nice and quite well specced, very good value set of radios from Baofeng. These radios at first glance might not look anything much, but they have some really nice features and spec for what you pay for. I'll quickly run through them here. The radios cover 400 to 470 megs with no gaps, can be used on ham PMR and FRS bands, noting that they can be legally and very quickly programmed with a drop down onto the PMR and the FRS bands using supplied software as you will see later. They offer wideband 25 and 12k options, high and low output power of 2.5 watts, CTCSS and DCS for privacy, 99 memory channels, uh, although these are only numerical and are not alphanumeric. It has a Vox feature, comes with the supplied headphones, 1750 and 1450 tones for repeater access, a backlit display, a keyboard lock, a beep, FM radio, LED flashlight, dual watch, micro USB charging, ringtones for calling, NOAA weather forecast alerts if you're in the States, and it also has a 4.2 volt 1500mAh battery, even though it said 7.4 volts. As with some of these uh, claims, it also claims to be an 8 watt radio, and I uh, can certainly tell you that it very definitely isn't. Uh, now, it does take U USB for charging, as you can see there, micro USB, and it comes with a supplied lead. It doesn't, however, come with a programming cable that was bought separately and is about roughly five pounds here in the UK. Uh, so from the outset, you can see why you must never use these radios out of the box, uh, particularly here in the UK, as they are all programmed all over the place. Um, put them in for charging. Uh, no visual indication that they're charging other than when you power it on. And as I mentioned, the, 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 I didn't mention, but these were from AliExpress and the program in need did come with a supplied CD. However, the drivers for the radio weren't on there. So I did a bit of digging around and found, as I said, that, that Retivis also sell a very similar radio, although the software, I believe, isn't compatible with this radio. And I certainly couldn't find an up-to-date version of the software anyway. So I looked around and found the, the Baofeng units. And luckily on this page, it was very hard to find this software. I found some colour options for the radio and rather handily a sort of Chinese English converted manual and the actual software. So I'll put these, uh, I'll put links to these in the description, but I'll also put a zip file where you can download everything in one go. Um, one thing to check that the programming lead does use the prolific drivers. So if you've done a Windows update, you will need to go to the Miklor website and download the prolific drivers, the old drivers from 2007 and do the update there. Otherwise, this lead and the program won't actually work. So sparking the program up, you can see here that the you have um, regional drop downs, which makes this very, very quick, If no matter roughly whatever area you're in, in the West particularly anyway, uh, where you can simply just select the end. If you want to use them as just FRS or PMR radios, you can very quickly program these up and uh, the user won't be able to enter in any more channels. So you can fix these onto the exact uh, set of frequencies that you like very quickly without any knowledge of the programs. But you can, of course, open this up and manually program them yourselves with repeater shifts and splits. Um, so, I mean, getting onto any repeater should be capable, should be easily possible with this radio. And, uh, you know, it has a memory capacity of 99 channels, which um, is pretty impressive, although they're not alphanumerically named. Uh, that's certainly quite a lot more than but all of the Xiaomi uh, radios, for instance, which are, are notoriously a bit stingy on the channel allocations. I think 100 is, is more than enough for most of us. So let's have a little listen to the ringtones. Again, a feature I find quite useful and out of the family, uh, particularly uh, when calling the, the kids, uh, just to get them to alert. And there's a choice of 10 ringtones on here. As you can see here, it's a nice clear display. I'll quickly flick through the menu options for you there. It's all fairly self-explanatory. Um, I did find in practice that the high and low power setting I couldn't seem to see made a great deal of difference. It seemed to be always in higher regardless, but you can change these for each channel on each channel, but um, separately on the handset as well, which is useful. So you can edit these on the PC or you can put all this in on the handset. It's very easy to do. So you don't need the program and need to change individual program parameters such as the tones and things but you do need it to change the initial frequencies there's no way to change the frequencies on the radio and um, the fm radio uh, works really nice so not really a feature i use on any of my radios but it's nice to have there if you're particularly if you're using these when you're out and sat for a while and uh, quite usefully if you're listening to the fm radio and the radio will jump back to the conversation channel that you're using whether it's pmr or programmed 
uh, so you don't miss any calls. You can sit there listening to the radio, and not miss anything. Um, you can drop the squelch by pressing the money button, which drops the squelch. Um, very, very simple to operate this. You can obviously lock the keypad. Again, something useful if you've got kids um, or, or older or adults that are going to knock it off frequency. So all in, a really nice, really nice radio. Very well sealed against the weather as well, as you can see with those rubber seals. Now, compared to power, I'm not sure until I take this out in the field. Here we have a, a bog-standard PMR446 radio, a Florian. Um, and this is, I mean, I know it's a little bit uh, subjective these tests really but the the field strength in in low power seems to be the same so i put it up to high power in the menu which i say you can do very very quickly and it does store this on a per channel basis um however it seemed to be field strength wise the same so i'm not sure if the high and low power setting does a great deal um, the in included flashlight, again, um, a feature not so many of us probably use. And there you can see it's a little bit taller than a UV5R, but it is particularly lighter than a UV5R and less bulky. So it might be an option for you. So let's take it out and uh, have a little play around and see what kind of range and quality of sound we can get with these radios. We've come a couple of miles away um, from from uh, Debbie. Debbie's over in the park again. This is the location I use for the CB test. And we're going to just do a radio to radio test. I might even try it in the car um, um, because we're relatively close. But I've brought uh, an old-fashioned PMR radio, the original Motorola uh, PMR radio. Now, this radio came out in, I think, 1997, 1998, something like that. It's one of the very first PMR radios. So I thought it'd be interesting to do a test between this. Uh, and Debbie's got the same radio, matching radio at the other end. And uh, and see what the difference is between the two. So we'll see if we can if we can get hold of De uh, Debbie and perhaps go out to our two normal locations. And we'll we'll also check these locations on the SDR as well and see see what it sounds like. Right, we've got the uh, Motorola the TA two hundred channel six PMR here, and I think we should be able to get Debbie okay. But we'll give it a try. Hi Deb, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm roughly two miles away at the minute. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. Um, give me the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Deb, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm roughly two miles away at the minute. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's not too bad. Um, give me the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Yeah, that's not too bad. How am I sounding at your end? Can you hear me okay? Okay. Okay, they're not the clearest these, but these really are quite old radios. Okay, we'll swap over to the to the black radios uh, and see what difference that makes. Well. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, how am I sounding at your end? Yeah, much clearer on this one. Yeah, you're nice and clear as well, really clear. That These have definitely got a bit more punch, would you say? Can you give us um, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog? The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, how am I sounding at your end? Yeah, much Okay, yeah, a little bit of wind noise there. If you could just give us that again, just to, just to speak a little bit louder. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Yeah, I'd say power-wise, these are probably quite similar, actually. Um, okay, we'll just try a little experiment in a, in a second. Um, just wait one. All right, so Debbie's just going to try uh, using the blue radio, the Motorola at her end, and we'll see if these are... I've set the CTCSS, so they should be set on 67. So. Right, I'm on the blue radio now. I'd say you sound more punchy coming through on the blue radio to me. Give us the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Yeah, you're definitely a lot, a lot brighter and clearer there. <laughs> That's unusual, isn't it? Uh, how strange. Um, I'll, okay, I'll do it your end and see what I sound like on the Motorola at your end. So if you want to um, put the black radio back on and I'll come back to you on the Motorola, okay? Okay. How strange. 
Right. So perhaps these aren't too bad. I mean, one thing I do find with these old Motorola's is the, the volume knob gets a bit scratchy, but you know, that's a thing for all radios, isn't it? But I mean, these just run off normal AA batteries. So um, these always were quite good, I'll be honest. And the only thing I didn't like about these is the center push button. I never liked that, but there you go. Okay, Debbie, uh, I'm coming back to you on the Motorola TA200. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, you're coming through really clear. Coming through really clear. Yeah, I think I think what it is, I think the receive on these TA200s isn't quite as good, but the uh, the transmit is really is really quite pokey on them, isn't it? We'll we'll find out when we check the SDR footage in a bit. I think the receive on these TA200s isn't quite as good, but the uh, the transmit is really is really quite pokey on them, isn't it? We'll we'll find out when we check the SDR footage in a bit. I think what it is, I think the receive on these TA200s isn't quite as good, but the uh, the transmit is really is really quite pokey on them, isn't it? We'll we'll find out when we check the SDR footage in a bit. Well, that was interesting. Like I say, I think the um, the receive, like I say, the receive on these isn't as good as the transmit, but the transmit seemed to be cutting through better than these did, um, which is slightly strange. So I think we can probably say these are PMR power, these these are, you're looking at definitely PMR power levels with these radios and not uh, not the two watts as they've got written on the back of them. So I would say almost certainly these are half a watt radios uh, and no more. But um, but still, um, with the extra features, I think they're pretty decent. So we'll we'll go out to the uh, to the next site, and then we'll uh, we'll do another test at the next site, our usual two locations. We're at location uh, A. Right, testing the Motorola TA two hundred at location A, approximately three miles. One two three four five five four three two one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Right now, unfortunately, the privacy mode on my screen a remote software kicked in, which meant it didn't start to record the audio here. But you can still see the signal there from the Motorola at location A, and then you can com compare it directly with the signal from the Baofeng radio here. Now, the Baofeng radio is set to wide mode, uh, which you'll notice on the SDR, so it's a slightly wider signal, but it's a, a, a comparatively of a similar strength, I would say. Uh, there or thereabouts anyway which does lead me to believe that these are roughly the same power and maybe the Baofeng is slightly more powerful so we move to location B which is seven miles from the SDR and tried again with the Motorola uh, again on channel six and um, a fairly healthy signal from the radio from that distance I think you'll agree and I'm sure we'd have had a good perceived audio from there and switched over to the Baofeng like I say in, in wide mode this time and you can see it's wider signal um, but again, I think that would have been perfectly audible. Right, um, I haven't checked the SDR to see how that went, but um, I have a definite suspicion that um, with the software that you get with these, you can't uh, take them up and above the 0.5 watts of a standard FRS or PMR radio. That being said though, they've got some nice features for, for the similar sort of money to a good PMR radio, such as the 99 channels, which is good. Um, the NOA uh, weather alerts, and the you know the, the the I like I like the form factor. They're also very well sealed as well. Um, I think these may well survive a little bit better uh, out in the uh, unclement conditions, inclement conditions. And they're, they're also USB chargeable, micro USB, which is useful as well. So you haven't got to take a desk adapter uh, charger with you or anything like that. Um, uh, so these can be picked up for thirty pounds delivered here in the UK, which, are, like I say, compared to some retail radios in shops, I think that's a very good price. Uh, a lot of people are um, don't want to run illegal power levels on PMR, so if you are in that category and you, you want radios that definitely are legal for use on FRS and PMR, then these almost certainly aren't going to land you into any bother at all because uh, I think they are definitely running um, uh, half a watt only. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope you've, you've looked at you've enjoyed my uh, look at these little sets. I know they've been around for a little while, but um, I, I, I just take me a little while to get around to test things sometimes. Right, if you have been, thanks ever so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one, seventy three.